This is an open letter to Google for a proposed enhancement to Google Earth. In fairness of disclosure, first, I am not a Google employee, though I did recently interview there. Second, I am predominantly a computer engineer, specializing in reconfigurable logic design, not a web page developer. Third, if I'd had more time, tools and time, the following storyboard would have been more concise. However, I'm confident that the creative among you will readily apprehend the salient suggestions. Fourth, I am not well versed in the nuances of Google Earth. And lastly, I am not looking for remuneration for this idea. I'm just an engineer with a bit of prescience, a lot of imagination, and a desire to participate in advancing that evolution. Simply someone who believes the world would be better for it, and that Google is the best position to bring this to productive fruition. In general, this proposal is an enhancement to Google Earth, and in particular, an extension of the layering schema. I propose that Google create a tool suite to enable a wiki-like user community to generate and maintain crowd-sourced, topic-specific, interactive layers to permit the juxtaposition of untold permutations of multidimensional data like never before available to inquiring minds. You might call it Google Earth Living Layers. A significant 21st century innovation. It's technologically cool because it is a major advancement in worldwide information integration. It's socially responsible because it makes this integrated information universally available. And it's potentially profitable, very profitable, because it can generate lucrative trend data. More than a simple static display of points, events, or projects of interest, user-created layers should be able to interrelate data from such topics as these. and many, many more. Obviously, there's potential for significant overlap in category content. Opportunities for objects to inherit data traits from each other or from parent classes. And that argues for the need of a high-level integrating GUI, like living layers, and hence at the potential power such a GUI would enable. Fans of complexity theory, spontaneous emergence principles, will appreciate that, although the layers users choose to upload may be deterministic, inspirations subsequently arising from permutations of those interactions cannot be predicted. A good thing. Limitless layers, infinite possibilities. The proposed tool suite would enable Google community contributors to construct lines, polygons, polyhedra, and other iconography projected upon the Earth's surface. These objects should have properties and methods that permit subsequent calculations to extract new conclusions from interaction between overlays. Field experts could construct main layer frameworks, upload databases, and specify their layers as either closed or open. In open layers, individual contributors could provide individual data points. Viewers should be able to select any layer set and either statically display overlays or play time-lapse interactions. And although any community member may upload any kind of layer, viewer voting will drive traffic to the most popular, authentic, informative, reliable layers. Let's take a look at a simplistic example, examining one layer. Here's a rudimentary control panel for layer selection. Let's say we wish to check sea level rise where we work, so we'll select the oceans layer. We'd get a map where we might navigate to Silicon Valley. 
The ocean's layer might come with a rising sea level widget that can be manually controlled, like this example based on Firetree.net NASA data. Sliding the manual control upward shows the valley flooding pretty quickly. And oh, there goes the Googleplex at about 10 meters. It's a good thing those buildings are designed on a Lego principle so they can be easily relocated. Okay, now let's take a quick look at a two-layer example. Say we now want to know how many people will be displaced by rising sea levels. So we additionally select the population layer. Here, the population layer might come with a log scale meter to show population displacement. This time, on the rising level widget, we select the max height, 10 meters, we wish to observe. Press the play button, and watch the population displacement scale fill. This demonstrates the need for methods that understand how to associate data from one layer with properties in another. Now, leaving to your creative inner eye to imagine appropriate overlay graphics, let's explore more multi-layer examples, such as the correlation between ocean and atmospheric temperatures, and how that might affect fish populations in catches, and how that might impact nutrition, or the spread of disease, and what role that might play in autism. Or is there a higher correlation with vaccines? And how getting those might be influenced by advertising? Or, starting a different thread, how does advertising in certain media markets influence voting patterns in political districts, given income distribution, education levels, and internet access? Clearly, there is a tremendous amount of information to process, and a tremendous opportunity for doing it. So what's the motivation for this proposal? Because it's technologically cool, socially responsible, and potentially profitable. Very profitable. Whereas displaying all the world's disparate data may be the fun part, this is not just a proposal on presentation. Underlying this proposal are innovations that standardize data transport, access, and presentation. Just as the car revolutionized personal transport and the shipping container revolutionized product transport, the Internet is ready for an innovative data container to revolutionize information transport. These containers are the aforementioned data structure objects with intelligent properties and methods that are key to packaging, distributing, and unpacking unprecedented volumes of information efficiently, economically, and equitably. And of course, all such well-organized, readily accessible information must be presented in a readily assemblable venue, like living layers, to be useful for globalizing internet evolution for the world community. Now, the proposed technology is cool, but not as cool as it is socially responsible. Underlying this proposal are innovations that promote people's freedom, health, and understanding. Really. While the internet is exponentially accelerating production of information, it's access and assimilation that lag. Inequitable availability of information has an adverse impact on the freedom of people and societies of the world. Since information is key to knowledge, knowledge is key to education, and education is key to freedom. Distressingly disorganized data littering the Internet also impedes people's and societies' equal opportunities for well-being. A universal platform levels the playing field, Leveling the playing field strengthens diversity, and strengthening diversity promotes health of the worldwide ecosystem. But perhaps the most exciting aspect of democratizing information access is the opportunity it affords in expediting the learning, sharing, and creation of new ideas, and thereby accelerating our understanding of the world within which we all live. This proposal embodies all these principles. 
But if those lofty motivations are insufficiently redeeming, there is always revenue. Now, whereas monetization is not my area of expertise, I'd be remiss not to give it some consideration. It seems self-evident to posit potential revenue streams from the usual relationships. From information consumers and producers up to Google, where consumers are typical end-users viewing information, and where private sector businesses, government, and academia typically comprise producers. Of course, many producers are also consumers, and some consumers might be paid to be producers. Relationships which will also increase the demand for Google services. Whereas Google may continue providing free Google Earth viewing to consumers, producers might pay Google for access to advanced data correlation methods or CPU time to execute them. Producers might also collect royalties for contributing their secret sauce IP to an advanced methods pool. These streams might be captured in a typical hierarchy of progressively featured product offerings. All users can view layers. Many can generate layer data. Some may wish to lease CPU time to compute layer data and an elect few will pay for access to advanced methods that correlate many data sets to extrapolate trends. But of course, for this aspect of the proposal, I defer all revenue conjectures to the business development experts at Google. That's it! Google Earth, Living Layers, an evolution in Internet information organization and distribution of, by, and for the world. And in closing, I would like to thank the following for their part in this presentation. Thanks for listening.